everybody. It's good to see you. I am in my kitchen today. Yes, I am. Today I'm going to be showing you a soft-spoken ASMR of all the school supplies that I'm showing you today. Now, they're from a few different places and nothing sponsored, but they're mostly mostly from Target. You may hear the footsteps of my dog, but that's okay. Um, my hair is yet not yet done for today because I'm going in a little bit to get my hair done with some new highlights, which I'll show you guys later. But I'm going to show you all the school supplies. Now, most of them are from Shop, right? I'm sorry, Target. But I did get a few. But I did get regular pencils and two sticky notes from Jot, J-O-T. And that came from the dollar store. My mom got it when I was at dance. Sorry, that's my dog. I got, she got it for me when I was at dance because we have a dollar tree right there. And she surprised me. And then she also surprised me with something from... But I don't have those right now because they are, um, she put them somewhere, I don't know. And also my dad, my mom got me something from the shop right, which I will show you in a little bit. What? Sorry, there's a little fly. Sorry, guys. So let's just have a nice, calm little evening chat, and I'll show you what I have for school supplies. All right, everybody, I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to, um, to have a little attack, but there was, like, a little bug in my ear and I just tried to shoot it away because I wasn't expecting that but we're back in my room and we're better so let's start first I got these extra sparkle mechanical pencils now as I said I did get regular pencils like a pack of pencils from the store but from the dollar store but I don't know where they now I'm showing you everything from Target right now now these I use every day I'll use one every day, or, and there is 26 in here, number 2 pencil, 0.7 ml lead, or mm lead, so we can get more if we need to, don't worry, that's just a fish tank, but there's sparkly, fun designs, smoother, dark writing, smoother writing, lead does not smudge any race, smooth writing, lead does not smudge any race cleanly, smooth writing, Oh, so it doesn't smudge, and it does erase easily. It would never need sharpening and advance quickly and easily. And they're really good. Perfect for standardized tests. Now, if you didn't know, I'm going to a new school this year. Because we moved, I'm going to Southern Regional, transferring from North High School North. And I'm not going to tell you why, but and we'll have a more conver big conversation later about me moving but anyway I am not going to tell you why um, um, I didn't like high school north it just wasn't the best school and we wanted to move so anyway these pencils will be great I push them down and I use them and it's very great and it can can be great now I have all the school supplies on this side and the ones that I show you are gonna go on this side and then I'll put them back on the counter later when my mom had them all right so next I have this Dymo Electra LT. This is plastic labels. Refill pack. Now you're probably wondering why I have this, very crinkly. But the reason why I have this is because for my binders, I I have um for my binders I have um little um like I write math and science on them and I like to no and I like to keep this right here. And this helps me label them with our label maker. So I use my label maker always to do this. And we needed more strips of the label maker things, so or, or paper, so we did that. Next, I got a Sharpie Clear View. Now, I don't know if it's easier to see what you're highlighting. I think it might be. But I really have never tried these before, but there's yellow, pink, and... um orange. They're clear blue so you can see through the tip as it's demonstrated right here and it says smear card and technology resists smearing of many pens and markers and inks and you can see through the tip it's medium and smear resistant ink. Now I use these to maybe um, highlight a page or something or an important note or maybe write something down if I have a pencil in my hand I have this in my hand real quick. Yeah. So by the way, speaking of pencils, I feel like every single year you go to buy pencils and every year you have them for like the first month or so 
and then you just get them like and then you just like they go somewhere like a black hole or something and me i find myself and other kids just using the community bin and it's kind of like the teacher's community bin which is all of her um supplies and it's just i don't know next we got dymo plastic labels refill pack do we hear that crank on Now, you're probably wondering why I have this, but I have this, you probably think it's weird that I have it, but why I have this is because the god freaking planes, get out of here. Next, I got these pencil erasers, these highly po polymer erasers, non-abrasive erasers from the company Pencil there. Light touch screen, 33% cleaner erasing. Now, I actually follow up on that. These are better erasing. I think these are better for erasing. They are quality premium erasers. Now, I love to erase stuff. Like, when I have a mistake, I need to erase. And I always, always have, like, I need an eraser. And I feel like that. And none of these supplies are sponsored. None of these supplies they told me to get. They didn't tell me to get any of these. I just got the... The basic things that I always need. Now, when I get these erasers, they now usually on the like on the elementary school lists, they will say, "Oh, you need one pink eraser or something." But I rather get these ones because they erase more better, and you don't have to push so hard to erase, and it's not like flimsy. It's kind of like a harder eraser, so it doesn't like flop back and forth. If you know what I'm saying, it just like goes easier, and yeah. So this is cool. Really quick, before we continue with Target, I just want to show you something at the Walmart that I picked up like a long time ago before I bought any of my school supplies. Now, I don't know if I bought, if we have these anymore, if they have these anymore, but these are the limited, and I don't know how they're limited edition, but these are limited edition, 21 count, fine permanent, mm, fine tip permanent markers. And it's got a key picture over here and over here. And I got these because, so, and there's a ASM artist, and I like her. Her name is Mary Asmar, and I like these, and I like her videos, and she bought these, so I thought I should buy them too for school. So you can open them or put them back together, like so. And these are by Sharpie, and they're markers, and they're good for coloring, and sometimes I'll keep one in my bag, but mo or in my pencil case, but mostly I'll keep these home and use them for projects when I have to do school projects. And we have all the colors of the rainbow. Next, I got a notebook. I'm always feeling like I need some type of notebook. Now, I got a different notebook last year. But this one is like, it's cool. It's the same kind with the like, rings. And it's cool. I don't put this in my binder or anything. I just keep it in my book bag. And if I ever need to jot down a note or write something or draw something, I'll just or write about how I'm feeling or something or write it in this little book. Or take notes and right here and it's by the company Mead or Med M-E-A-D and on the back it's really cool it says make waves and right here you can see or you can't see it says it has a hundred percent a hundred pieces of paper notebook wide roll and I liked it because it had the print on it and it's nice because in a pre I don't know about my new school but in the previous years we had to use it, so we had to. Eat. I had a notebook for something, so yeah, here we go. Usually for English. And yeah, so I might just write a note in it or something, or like I may even let me grab a pencil here and just like jot down a note or something, and maybe just have fun writing something. Cause you know what notes are. On an educational tale. All right, next I have next I have three packs of these papers. Now I'm only going to show you one. I'm just trying to give you a little sound real quick of the paper before I pick it up. Now I put paper in my binder, and I put a folder in my binder every year, so. 
This is by Five Star, and this is a really nice piece of paper. Speaking of highlighters, my mom also picked me up this individual highlighter at school, or at her work. And it goes on, and it just goes like this, and you can just write on it, and write on the paper, and I use it as the same length as the other one. And I'm putting this up in my marker caddy right now. Next, I've gotten Kids Scissor Pointed Tip. Now, I did have scissors like this last year, but it got kind of dirty and worn out, so. I know some people like the sound of scissors. But Kids Scissors, they're from Up and Up. It's a company. It's ages 6 plus. And I usually need adult scissors because my hands are bigger. There's only there's always that like one person who needs adult scissors, and it's me. So you can just slide it out if you'd want to, but it's gonna make a really loud sound, so I'm not going to do that. And I don't want to open them yet. Yeah, I also have a little tiny pencil case. I don't know if I showed you last year, but it's really little. It's like holds like a few pencils and this. I put in there like a few pencils, my highlighters, all my highlighters, and an eraser and like a pair of scissors. And my sticky notes, and I don't have again, I don't have it on file, but I have it right now with me. But I can't go on yet. I use these to cut things. Attention, adult supervision is recommended with children using scissors. Now, because I am high school, my mom lets me just do it. And yeah, all right, these are nicer pieces of paper. So, if you can see right here, along there, here is a strip of tape, and it doesn't let you, allow you to write on it. But it's a strip of tape and it helps you so you don't rip the papers as much. Now they do have little like tapes that are circle that you have like um that can be put on a ring and be fixed. Even these rings can be fixed, but I seem to know like uh, I seem to like this paper better because it doesn't rip that much. And it's five star, built to last strong, and it's college ruled reinforced paper. And more durable holes, as it says right here. Last all year, guaranteed. And we buy so much paper because I always need lots of paper because now that I'm in 11th grade, if you didn't know I'm in 11th grade, I'm going to be going into 11th grade. And especially in high school, I get lots of things that I might need. I need to write lots of notes and papers, so yeah. So there's 100 sheets in each. So I have 300 sheets and they're, and this one is actually wide ruled. It's the same paper, but it's wide rolled. I did not know that. So we have 200 sheets. So I have two packets that are college rolled and one that is wide rolled. So we have 100 pieces of wide rolled and 100, 200 pieces of college rolled. I don't, I prefer any, but I, I mean, I kind of like the, the wide college rolled because it's more lines, there's more room to write, but I prefer any and anything we get that would be fine. Now the last thing I'd like to show you today is a folder. Now this is actually really crinkly, so I'll try not to crinkle it that much, but I'll give you a little bit of the crinkle. I don't want it to be too loud. This is by a company called iScholar. It's, um, I'm sorry, I'll show you right here. It's iScholar. And if we wanted to, we could just peel the sticker off, but I won't do that right now because it's kind of loud. And anyway, what I use these for is my mom picked this up at the sh shop right when she was grabbing something. And I have a couple of other colors, but I like to keep it like, but I like to keep it, I would like to only show one color. So it's just, shopiscore.com to buy these or find them in the shop right and what i use this for is i like like i said i put folders in the back of my binder for any loose papers that might go with that subject and i really like to use these because to use this because it's nice and it goes with the folder with the binders and for the binders i use it doesn't matter about the folders but for the binders i usually do so i usually do math is orange um, English 
it so math is orange any extra class or or a language or something that's going to be like a pinkish then for science we have our blue for our english i usually have a notebook but if i have to I get a photo i'd usually use like i guess purple or something and for history it's always green why i don't know why but i've always done that color scheme and i think those colors go well with that subject so i'm going to use that this year and it's going to really help me and i used it for the last three years and i liked it and we started labeling for the last two years Well, this is my school supply haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.